Hello and welcome to the adventures of Voxel and Stasi and their little friend, the mage. And so, yeah, it's been a while. Uh, it has been a while. Last time I made an episode for these characters was probably before October 2022. And uh, I've been wanting to come back to them. And uh, it's it's just been taking a while to get here. I wanted to finish up the... Uh, the uh moon kitties series that i started before i went any further but uh yeah so it's kind of a i got i got, I got some questions to propose in this uh episode hopefully uh if you have an opinion on those questions uh go ahead and drop them in the comment down below but obviously i moved my characters from uh uh, for, uh, not Feronavai, from, uh, uh, Yelenak to Feronavai, and, uh, we are now here on that server. Uh, the last thing I did before I left, uh, at some point is I did get the mage, her, uh, epic item, so she does have that now, and, uh, I pretty much stripped them when I, uh, moved them over, and, uh, just gave stuff away or sold it, and, uh, now they just have whatever I had in the bank on these characters uh so it's a little a little uh a little strong here but uh let's go ahead and uh, mess around here so the f what i was doing uh, the, the next episode i plan to make was uh where is it here's the jade prod was going to be the howling stones key and uh, i still plan on doing that where is the thing uh is it over here yeah there it is so i have the keys i'm on front of i and you don't need the key to go into uh, Hollowing Stones. But that was like where I was heading with this. Uh, but now I have the like some some people had given me the Jade Prods, and uh, I'd gotten down with uh, some classic Nostalgia Guild members and gotten the uh, the Fang on one or two of these guys. I think, yeah, Voxel is the one missing the uh, Fang, so uh, I think that's why I never made the episode. Uh, but. That is uh, the least of the problems. So, uh, we what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here through Howling Stones today. Hopefully they follow me up here. I have pretty much, it's like almost God mode, honestly. Uh, I'm fairly geared at this point with uh, all the stuff I'd gotten from Noma Guard and uh, just hanging around <laughs> my, my guild bank, but uh, we're gonna go through this and uh, get a little experience here, and then uh, I got some questions for what'll what'll be the next episodes. I think it really is really what this is kind of go down to. But uh, Howling Stones is a great undead dungeon. There's a named right there too, so that's nice. Uh, this is you know it's it can be difficult. I uh, don't think we're gonna have much problem here, but we are in the 50s, 55, 56, so. We're just gonna plow through it here. So I have uh, mostly dots up on my spell bar right now. So what I'm gonna go through is I'm just gonna go through and dot everything up. I have the pets attacking and uh, other two characters. They're not uh, true boxed. They are uh, normal boxed. So when I hit certain keys, uh, the keys get repeated to them, but uh, not much else other than that goes on with them. There we go, we got a Guardian's Mace. Don't even know what that is, but uh, we'll take it. There we go, and I did pick up a Mercenary Healer, because I didn't want to set up a lot of hotkeys uh, as a Druid. And uh, there's a reason for that. All right, uh, let's see here, never. All right, let's keep going here. So we just kind of go up this way through here. And oh, we got another, another named. That's crazy. Where is she at? Okay, the mage is like up on the ledge there. And so, the druid and the mage they nuke when I hit three and four. Um, when I get to those dots, those are a little bit longer lasting dots. I don't want to like just chain nuke with them. So, kind of doing that. Where is my pet? All right, now he's attacking. Perfect. All right, we'll just ignore that. Go ahead and pull this guy here. Oh, he's got a friend. We'll dot him up too. 
So Envenom Bolt is a great dot. It does an insane amount of damage. Uh, I also got this M... What is it? Imprecation? Got that too. And uh, that is pretty, it's pretty good too. Ooh, look at this range item. 1700 tribute value. That's pretty nice. There we go. And uh, there's lots of lots of spells and stuff that drop here, but I'm not too concerned about those. And we do so we do have the mage epic pet, and you can kind of see how strong that thing is. It's pretty cool how uh, how well it does, and it was definitely worth the grind <laughs> on the top server to actually get it. Uh, I I think I paid like two chrono for it because I had to buy the crown of elemental mastery and i bought the crown or not the crown but the pegasus cloak but uh yeah those were uh quite quite costly all right let's see here can we get this guy from here no we can't um uh, but I, I guess i can go ahead and ask the question right um i don't want to end the series but I need to move Voxel to a different character, or a different account, and I have multiple ways I can do it. Um, I could offline power level Voxel back to 55 on the new account, or I could start Voxel from level one, just give him his gear, that's all usable at level one, and do kind of like a solo up to, uh, I guess, 60. I think that's where no the bards or the druids at 58 so you know solo up to 60 you know and uh, kind of do like a little mini series there and then do uh you know start duoing with stasi again once they're you know the same level uh or another option is i use stasi to power level voxel to uh 60 and i, I just i feel like that would not be the most fun option. It'd be the quickest option, obviously. I mean, I could use... Uh, so this is Stasi X. Uh, Stasi is a 120 uh, Druid on Fronovi. And Stasi X here is uh, the 50, 58 or whatever it was. I can't even remember. 58, yeah. So there is this, there's a slight difference. Now I could, you know, have him 60 in a day, <laughs> a few hours. Or I could actually have some, you know, fun. We could go through it, maybe do some of the quests we didn't do. Uh, you know, because there was uh, the the cowl, uh, the hat, that the uh, the cap of the demi lich or whatever that uh, uh, the Ixar Necros get that we didn't do because uh, I was going to buy it from a guy in the guild that I was in. And uh, I never got around to doing that and it was just too much of a too much of a thing to do at the time i think i was i don't know i had a lot of stuff going on there we go but we're just plowing through this stuff here pretty quick i don't even know how good it, i'm not even looking at the experience it's like two percent per that is insane a flawed combat hoe all right we'll send that to voxel too can pick up some defiant stuff while we're here all right let's take a look at the map i don't want to fall down a hole i can't remember where they're all at yeah the trap's right there so that rug is a trap so we're gonna avoid that let's zoom out a little bit we want to go through this door but yeah so those are gonna like the options right so i would i would make it funny <laughs> i have a plan uh, depending on, you know, what the general consensus, consensus is on the comments of this video. I'm going to wait, you know, a few weeks before I start actually recording the next episodes and stuff. But conceptually, right, uh, I need to move him no matter what. So it's either I move him in one of those ways or, or not. And, you know, I, I'm also moving the ranger that it's on this account too. <laughs> so I'm i'm uh i'm trying to cancel a lot of accounts and i i've over 
I'm overextended, I think. I have way too many active accounts. And it's just kind of kind of a pain. I'm trying to get down to eight, which is still like eight hundred dollars a year. Uh, but I'm uh, trying to get it get it down to uh, a reasonable number. I think eight lets me do everything I need to do with the characters that I I have series going on with and whatnot. But uh, yeah, <laughs> this is just this is on one of those just random accounts that I I was like yeah. I gotta go double down and I, you know, went deep. <laughs> I went real deep on a lot of these uh, characters and having an account per class and all kinds of crazy, stupid stuff. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the plan moving forward. So the next episode will either be Voxel at level one or Bo Voxel remade at 55. And. Uh, We'll figure out how that goes, but let's just keep messing around here in Helling Stones. This is a fun zone, and I don't think there's anyone else here. Yeah, it's just us, so. And, like, that was a massive train. I don't know, like, I'm, I am I didn't even, like, pay attention. <laughs> like, that was a pretty good sized amount of uh, mobs that would have probably wiped me uh, if I wasn't so uh, geared at the moment. But I am, uh, I'm actually disappointed that most of the stuff is actually light blue at 55, uh, which is kind of surprising, right? Or, uh, well, actually we're almost 56, but I, w I was expecting to come here and this was going to be blue, like a hard blue. So it's almost worth it that I didn't, uh, finish that key. Keep forgetting to tell the, uh, a mage pet to attack. There we go. They're gonna both nuke. Looks like I'm gonna need a heal. So hopefully that mage uh, gets down to business. Not the mage, but the. Oh, what is she called? Cleric mercenary. Yeah. Just gonna plow through all this stuff, I think, without much thought into it. Looks like this is a dead end down here, actually. So. Looks like there is a. some blue. And that's one that big earth elemental pet is the Rage of Zalm or something like that that just uh, does a lot of quick damage. It's kind of nice for the uh, it's a, one of the swarm pet lines, I think, for the mage. But uh, the mage will not go forward uh, with Voxel and Stasi. It will just be Voxel and Stasi. <laughs> Uh, the mage is going to a different series that I'm uh, working on and uh, like I, I feel like you know see how overpowered this mage pet is right it's just this it just destroys like this it's just doing so much damage this thing like uh, so we're gonna move uh, we're gonna move her to a different series that I uh, have not announced yet but if you if you watch all the videos you've probably seen uh, spoilers of what I have in mind for that. There is a secret wall somewhere around here. There it is. All right. Yeah, I remember this room. Yeah, this is a. Uh, if you're not paying attention, you will die. Room. Oh, these are all blue, so that's nice. So what I'm trying to do is get. Uh, where are we at here? We want to get over here. That's the uh, the highest level stuff. So. We're just kind of fighting our way through like that as I casually talk about all the things that I'm planning on doing. Oh, that guy is amiable to me, yet he still attacked me. I don't... I feel... I feel bad about that. Are we going to take a faction it? Actually, he might... They, they all might have, like, faction with this stuff, do they? No, they don't have been real Seth here action so oh another named all right let's get some thoughts on him yeah but i'm, st I'm starting to run out of mana here all right so that one was normal factions for this place crypt festerer all right let's double check these he's dotted he's not let's get and, you know, honestly, you're probably being carried by this healer mercenary that can't die. 
It's almost hilarious how strong healer mercenaries are. Yeah. Yeah, these are all normal faction hits, so I don't know what this Xar operation is, but it attacked one of my guys, so it has to die no matter what. There we go. Okay. Let's see if I can get invented bolt on this thing too. Alright, we killed that thing. He had no faction hit, but he was ammoable to me, so. I don't know how that works, but uh, I'll let you figure it out. There we go. I, can I not cast? There we go. And then a bolt. And all right, let's do a life deflux. Should give me a little bit of life back. And there we go. Get a little bit of bone chips, which is nice. Oh, <laughs> I guess I have 1300 of them. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, steel hinted, hilted flint dagger. Now this thing used to be the, the bee's knees back in the day. Uh, it's a crappy, crappy weapon ratio wise, but uh, it procs a 625 nuke. Uh, definitely a nice little pet weapon uh, early on. It still procs on pets. Oh, flawed defiant leather gloves. Let's give those over to uh, to Stasi here, because uh... oh, so okay, so like Stasi's like in half wallet loot and half naked uh, due to me not finishing uh, gearing her up before making this video. But uh, those are not better. Well, they're kind of uh, depends on how. But uh, yeah, it's kind of how she lies like uh i have kazakh thul tunar earring no chest plate <laughs> yeah that's how lazy i am uh let's see here let's leave all that junk all right let's grab this bile gall and let's kind of see where we're at here okay we just need to go through that door over there where do we get that all right where well, hold on Where's, where's my pet? <laughs> That's the question. Where is he? There he is. He's like, I guess something ran. There we go. I can go ahead and sit while we wait here. Um, they don't, I don't know what my mana regen is, right? I should have got like clarity or something or, uh, whatever beast Lord clarity. Should have got all that before, uh, Starting the episode. Didn't really think about it, honestly. <laughs> Come on. Oh, you silly, silly boxes. Come on. There you go. But uh Yeah, I'm 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 personally leaning towards the uh start him at level one and when he gets to uh sixty or fifty eight, whatever uh Stasi ends up with, I don't know. <laughs> Which might hit 60 in this episode since the experience is so good here but yeah she's almost 59 so i'm kind of leaning towards uh starting him at level one and just actually doing it right like actually playing him and oh, wow robe jeez uh and uh kind of going through some of those those xr quests and maybe maybe keep him in kunark i know uh I know I did the uh, uh, Sons of Thule and I stayed in Kunark for them, but they accelerated extremely fast through it. So I think if I did it again and, you know, so I'll give them the gear, right? But nothing else, no power leveling, nothing. And we just go through Kunark and see where we end up. And then about 55 to 60, you know, we meet it back up with Stasi, and can go from there. I'll probably bring, like, have her follow him around every episode, right? As, you know, if he dies, I can res him. I don't have to run all the way back kind of thing. But, uh, I don't know. I'm, think I'm thinking that's probably going to... Jeez, where'd this guy come from? Uh, I'm thinking that's probably going to be the what I, what I end up doing. But I didn't want to do another, like, uh, I know I... 
I don't know, probably like right about now that the 20 power leveling videos are coming through. Yeah, airing. And uh, I don't really want to do that again. I feel like that's, uh, I don't know, I, <laughs> it's fun, uh, but it's boring uh, for me. I like, I like actually, you know, going through and doing it. I was just trying to get those characters uh, to a thing, but I do like the accelerated start kind of concept to not have to worry about switching gear out every time something drops. And that's kind of like the, the primary reason for that, because this stuff's not even better than Defiant, right? I can get Defiant stuff that's, that's better than this at, uh, each of these levels you know maybe not a level one but uh for the most part i can get def better defiant right and i don't want to have to like oh look at all the armor switch things around every five minutes as i get nuke stuff i just like to have it done kind of like the way i do with bags and stuff like i i like to have all the bags maxed out have all the spells everything ready just so that when i'm making the videos i don't have to think about anything like that i can just be like okay well we got uh, all these spells we can just click them real quick and kind of finish that so yeah I, i'm i'm already talking myself into a direction when i was going to pose it as a question but i'd like to hear thoughts still anyway like that's the direction i want to go right uh we're gonna start voxel over at level one on a new account and level them up from there and just see where it goes uh i'll probably stay in kunar till you know 55 60 you know somewhere around there maybe go do some daily quests here and there but he does he won't need the gear so i won't have to worry about going to do any of that stuff like i have to and all the other series where they need a haste item and all that stuff like so it'll be a definitely uh exciting way and it'll be a different way like i like the necro class it's probably my favorite class and i'm specifically moving these characters around in a way that i can actually duo gnome regard and uh, voxel at the same time and uh, i want to see how powerful two necros can be when you box them together and you know that's i think what i've always said when i made the the made the character originally is that that's something I wanted to try and see if I could do and how that would work out. Um, I just got to get rid of this uh, <laughs> this ranger account that I, I made him on for some dumb reason. I have no idea why. But uh, so that's the plan moving forward for uh, the Voxel and Stasi series. The rest of the episodes are probably... I'll wait like two weeks, see what if I get any comments at all. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video at all, but uh, we'll see. There we go. And then once that's done, once I figure out the path 100%, I will uh, start making the videos and we'll see what we can do. I think uh, I think it'll be fun. I honestly do. Necro and a Druid duo, you know, duo to 120. Like, I already know at 120, <laughs> Necro and a Druid is phenomenal i already have i already have no regard and stasi at 120 and they're really good uh and but i leveled stasi with my uh, my first shadow knight so I, sh I don't have that kind of uh experience with while well, you know leveling the two but it seems like they will uh have absolutely no problems <laughs> Because we you know, we leveled uh, no regards pretty much solo all the way to 120, and uh, that was you know almost a piece of cake. There's a few missions I think I did offline or something like that with uh, with other characters, but for the most part, the hero's journey is what we did. So we'll, we'll do something different. Obviously, this as you get past Velios, I think the the places to level really shrinks <laughs> and it shrinks fairly quickly, right? Like you get to 85 howling stone or, I mean, house of Thule is like your only real place to go, right? Uh, at each level, but well, there's some certain necromancer kind of things that I'd like to pick up along the way and kind of do. 
and I think I I'm what I'll do I'm gonna get him his I'm gonna get voxel his epic I'm already done with it pretty much on uh, no regard all I have to do is uh, record the last uh, few turn-ins but I think I'll do the epic for him too just because I think the uh, wow there we go 56 I think the uh, the duck is just so cool looking. I think it's one of the cooler looking epics and it really fits with the skeleton models and stuff like that. So we'll do that. Have a little fun with that kind of you know, questing and stuff like that. And uh, there is uh, uh, some other stuff. And I've learned so much since I, I, I did the Nomergard playthrough that it is going to be an interesting uh, change of pace, honestly. I... I know I, I like I when I made the Gnome Regard, you know, when I started that character, I I honestly didn't know that much about necromancers. And now I I know a lot and I figured out like a lot of the nuances and stuff like that, especially when you get to the higher levels. I'm I'm not great at soloing names or anything like that, but uh I've figured I can kill pretty much anything. <laughs> and uh I think, I think it'll be very fun. And these guys are just steamrolling this stuff. Like, this is like, on, on Yelenak they would have like died. <laughs> they would have died so hard here. It's almost hilarious. And you know this mage, like the mage pet, right? I don't even know what his name is. Uh, what's my pet's name? Jabber. So I have Jabber. The other one's Jalinky. Or yeah, it's like. 82s, 120, what, no, that's the goal. Uh, 72, 71, 81, 140, what? <laughs> Gee, hold on. He bashed for 140. I mean, he's just destroying. Like, I don't even have to really do anything, probably. That's how overpowered the mage epic is. But... Uh, Slotna's not going forward with us. I'm going to bring her into a different, uh, different series. Like I said, but, uh, I think it's still going to be fine. Really give the, uh, really, really make it a little bit more fun, I think. Because I, I don't even know why. I think I was I needed the mage uh, when I made it on Yelenak. I I needed the, another call a hero box that I could drop somewhere, and I think that is what my intent was. I can't even honestly remember at this point. That's how uh, that's how long it's been. Like I was trying to have oh man, summoned me. I was trying to have a call a hero mage. I had. I think I'd made another one or another two on other accounts and stuff like that. And I was like, I need to have one, you know, outside of Temple of Vishen, one and somewhere else in Velos. And I was trying to like do all this stuff for some dumb reason. I was just going a little bit overboard. And so I'd made this one and, but I didn't want to do the Epic on one of my other ones because I was paying Chrono with that one, and I wanted it on this one since it was this is this account that that character is on is the main mage account, if you will, which is uh, another problem if you ask me. But the it's not that bad. All right, another named item. And another Aug. So I need to make sure they have auto loot on. If I send them stuff, otherwise they will not loot it and I won't pay attention. There we go. Yeah, it's just like, not even really, I'm honestly not paying attention. That's how easy this content is, so don't worry. Uh, oh, well, it's a little slower at that level. I probably could go. I went to Guck on uh, the Moon Kitties, and oh my gosh, the experience was not that great, but it was fantastic. 
Like, it wasn't great, but it was fantastic. If that makes any sense. Like, Chardog is better. You're getting like one, you know, 2% per kill, maybe more. And I'm kind of getting that here. Some of these are a little lower, but yeah, Chardog was just night and day different than everything else that I have encountered. All right. I don't think this guy's aggro, right? So I can ignore him. Go ahead and send the pets. Okay, yeah, go up there. That's definitely where I wanted you to go. And uh, there we go, so. But, uh, yeah, I, I did buy the Zandikar Heart here on, uh, on uh, Yelenak, I did actually bring that over. I don't know why, but I did bring that over. I, was, I should have sold it there. I would have uh, possibly got my money back. I think actually the Kalandikar, Zlandikar hearts like dropped down from like one chrono to like a thousand platinum or something like that. That's, maybe that's why I didn't do it. This wasn't worth my time <laughs> trying to sell it. All right, what do we got here? Do we have any traps? We do have a trap coming up somewhere over here. Hello, skeleton. Yes. Goodbye, skeleton. Oh, there's another one right there. All right, we'll get that one too. So it's just a matter of, uh, like, the best dot I think I have right now is this Invenom Bolt. I only did, like, a cursory look at him. And then, uh, this... And appreciation is a newer one. Let's, let's take a look at the damage on these things, right? It's like 351 per tick, 245 per tick. Like, I mean, they're pretty good. Uh, this one is 150, so it's kind of like, you know, a little, little down. But splurt is kind of nice, right? But it, it's not really useful <laughs> for, for the situation I'm in right now, right? Like, if I was solo, it would be useful. And I'd probably cast it every every time but to get the good damage on a splurt the mob has to pretty much last the duration and i believe spurt is a 60 second no it's a hundred it's a minute and 36 duration and what's even worse about that is right as i get the uh, whatever focus item sorry that increases the duration of dots by another tick and actually makes it take longer <laughs> to uh to do anything so yeah funny how that works but uh let's get all those guys over there but well, we are like out of mana where are we at how far did we get we made it yeah we made it to the south wing not bad not bad at all i'm out of mana though <laughs> so hopefully uh or, I think these other guys I'm, I'm I'm pretty much not even doing anything with them. They're just following me around. Got them to nuke. Let's see here. Five. That should dot that guy. There we go. Oh, there's another named. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Ah, uh, so nice to have no competition here, right? Uh, let's see here, let's do another five on that guy. Is there any of the stuff I actually want? No. Can you guys not fall down that path? Oh, there we go. All right, so the name was like going this way. So can we like, there he is right there. The S Excavator. Uh, what is this guy? Oh, there's a Festerer too. Jeez. Chant of Pain. I have no idea what that is. I bet it's like the Monk Shackle quest though. Sit down. But yeah. Looking pretty good here, I think. But you know what? I think we'll just call it here. So that's my my idea. Um, I would like to reboot the series, uh, start Voxel at level one, and level up through Kunark as you know Necro. We're gonna do an accelerated start where he kind of starts with some gear. 
uh like whatever i got on now i'll just parcel it to him <laughs> but uh um we'll see how that goes uh let's see what else but uh thoughts on that if you have any thoughts or anything like that let me know and if you don't want to see a necro start over from one with a little bit of gear let me know i mean i'm looking to do you know almost anything that's fun so i i'd like to get him to the higher levels fast that's the only reason i'm gonna start him with gear uh, i just want to get straight into the 60 plus 70 plus 80 plus area and uh have fun there but uh yeah so thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day